and He Island. So, Liu Hongshan, Liu Zhongtang, once visited North Korea with the same military attaché. They heard that an He Island in North Korea, where the gods live, wanted to take a boat trip. The North Korean minister said no, and told them to wait for a man named Xiao Zhang. It turns out that an He Island doesn't have contact with people, only Xiao Zhang, a disciple on the island, once or twice a year. Anyone who wants to go to the island must first explain to Zhang that he thinks he can go and get on the boat and get there safely. Otherwise, the boat will be overwhelmed by the hurricane. A day or two later, the North Korean king summoned Mr. Yu, I saw another person sitting on the floor. The man, in his 30s, was wearing a sword and, and the brown bully. He had a neat appearance and a serious look. Mr. Liu asked, knowing that he was Mr. Zhang. Nakato told him of his desire to go to Anhe Island. Zhang allowed it, but said, Your assistant can't go. Then he went out of the palace and looked at Liu's entourage, saying only two people could follow him. So Zhang prepared the boat and led Liu Zhangteng and others to go. Mr. Liu was sitting on the boat, and he had no idea how far it was. I just feel like I'm learning. Like the clouds. It took only one hour to reach Anse. It was a cold winter, but it was a warm, spring-like climate on the island, and flowers filled the valley. Liu Zhongting, led by Zhang, entered the cave and saw three elderly men sitting cross-legged inside. People on either side of the street saw guests coming in, as if they hadn't. Only the elderly man sitting in the middle got up to greet them and saluted each other. After sitting down, the old man told Xiao Cheng to take tea. A young man walked out with a plate, and a cone was inserted into the stone outside the hole. Little Chong pulled out the iron cone and sprayed it out immediately. The small vision is caught in a cup. When it's full, you plug it back in. Xiao Cheng brought tea to Liu Zhongtang. The tea was pale green, and Nakata tried a bite, shaking his teeth with cold. He is afraid of not drinking cold. The old man looked at the little puffer and signaled him to take it away. Xiao Cheng took the teacup and drank the rest. He still came to the stone wall, pulled out the iron cone and reattached the cup. When Liu Zhongtang tasted the tea, his mouth smelled of fragrance and his heat bounced. As if he had just been burned out, he was startled. Asked about his future fate, Mr. Liu laughed and said, How can we outsiders know what's going on in the world when we don't even know the age? Liu asked the elder, who said, this is not what you rich people can do. Liu Zhongtang got up to say goodbye, and Xiao Zhang still sent him back. On his return to North Korea, Mr. Liu told the king what he had seen since in He Island, and the king sighed, it's a pity you didn't drink that cold tea. It's jade from heaven, and one drink can extend your life for a hundred years. Mr. Liu was ready to return home, and the North Korean king gave him a gift. Wrapped in layers of paper and silk, and instructed him not to open it near the sea. As soon as Liu Zhongtang got ashore, he took out his sword and looked at it. After removing hundreds of layers of paper, he saw a mirror. He looked carefully in the mirror and saw the side of the dragon palace in the sea. Inside, the dragon flies, and the dancing is very familiar. He was seeing the waves of the sea rising higher than the attic and swooping on him with vigor. Liu Zhongtang was terrified and fled. The tide was racing to catch up. It was raining like a storm. Mr. Liu panicked and hurled a mirror at the tide, which immediately fell. Alright, this story has come to an end. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you.